This past November, the Rosen family from Miami, Florida, was celebrating the birth of a new baby boy. Everybody was really excited and all the preparations for the bris were underway. There was just one minor detail that still had to be taken care of. We were trying to choose a name to name our new baby and we didn't have any clarity, any name in particular that we wanted to name. So Mrs. Rosen decided to pick up a phone and call her father and ask him for a suggestion. He told her that naming a child is a very special parental experience. Parents have this special divine assistance in knowing what to name their child. So he advised her to use her intuition, her gut feeling. But then he said, if you can't come up with any ideas, let me just mention that we had a very special grandfather in the family. His name was David Chai. My father suggested that we sleep on it, and the morning of the birth, we look at the baby and see if we have a strong feeling when we look at him, knowing what the name should be. The morning of the bris, Mr. and Mrs. Rosen finally came up with a right name. Netanel Yaakov. After the bris, we get a phone call from my mother-in-law who is on her way back to Savannah. She got a call from someone else in Savannah, Georgia, saying how blown away she was that we named after the two victims of the terrorist attack that had just taken place that Friday. In Israel, there was this Palestinian who came out of nowhere and shot at a car and killed father and son, Netanel, 18 years old, and Yaakov, 44 years old. Netanel, Shaya Nahag, it it was Friday right before Shabbos, and our bris was Sunday, and at that point we hadn't heard, so we had no clue about this attack. I was blown away by the first part of that story, and then a week later, coming home from shul, my wife comes to the front door with this, like, complete, happy, emotional reaction that I had never seen before. I was like, I'm coming home from shul, like what's going on? <laughs> we started reading up a lot about Natana and Yaakov and their lives because we started feeling this connection to them. I was reading an article in that Me magazine which was about the attack and it was going into their lives further and we see that Natano's name was Natano Chai, and Yaakov's name was Yaakov David. I read the article, I read it again, I see Yaakov David, Natano Chai, David Chai, Natano Yaakov. The second names was the name of her grandfather that her father initially suggested for her child. We were going to name after him. I mean, that was our other option. I, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. I think this story is a powerful reminder of how truly connected we are as a people. It doesn't matter where you live, where I live. We can live on two opposite sides of the world. It doesn't matter what background you're from or what background I'm from. You can be Hasidish, I can be Litvish. You can be Sephardi, I can be Ashkenazi. You can be secular, I can be Orthodox. But we're one people. We have to bridge the gap between us and care and love each other despite our differences. There's obviously a bond that we have deep down that whether we recognize it or not, we're all connected. We are one nation, we are one people. We are all together and we are all together. And Israel is the king of the world.